Hey guys, welcome back to my tiny channel. As you remember or not, well, I've gotten this 07 Toyota 2Runner, two-wheel drive, and I'm about to spray it or actually paint it with chassis saver by magnet paint uh, because this, this frame is, let me show you. Check it out. This is not even rusty. It's just dirt. This, what it mostly looks like everywhere, this frame. And I want to keep it that way for a long time. That's why I'm taking, well, obviously the wheels off so I have access to the frame. So I can paint this part of the frame. Still got to remove the, the bottom covers. I have removed these these little guys here okay now these are for the front there are bigger ones for the rear here but those just kind of fell apart just just broke in my hands so probably gonna have to get new ones for the rear I can probably probably reuse all the clips and I've been you know looking around and what I've noticed I've been poking around took the mud flap off in the front and rear check this out this is vegetation all up in there. Let me show you the other side. So managed to pull this fender flare away from the fender and check it out. See all that? <laughs> That's a lot. That's like up to here. Now there is a drain hole right here. But that's just clogged. So that's how you... There's another one there that's also clogged. Okay. That's what it looks like. Ah, so that's how it starts, guys. The rusting process in some of the spots. Still gotta remove this plastic here. I'm kind of trying to figure out how to remove these without breaking them. Probably going to break them and get new ones, but I'm willing to do that so I can remove all the vegetation, all the leaves. It, I mean, the bottom of it was wet. Okay, you know that stays moist for a long time. That's how your stuff gets rusted. I mean, there's a lot. Look at that. I wonder what lives there. Yep. In the rear, remove the mud flap here so I can spray or paint this here. There is no rust anywhere. I kind of want to remove this. There is some dirt up in here. Got to remove that. But these, I don't know, I will have to remove all this. Probably not the rear bumper, just these these fender, well, uh, fender flares. I think they are glued up on top or some kind of clips. And then you got a few bolts, I guess one bolt here. And these should just pull away because I would like to spray something right in here. But on the kind of on the outside, you know, behind this plastic. Maybe I can just remove the plastic and spray here that's probably what i'm going to do i'm going to remove the spare so, so just want to show you the these corners here how much stuff is in there and that's how it begins to rot for obvious reasons okay guys next stop is going to be power washing the frame basically see you
That's quite a bit.